What's going on guys, Dominic Mensah here and welcome to the 2022 Gymnastics British Championships here at the MS Bank Arena in Liverpool. I can't believe it's been three years since we've been back here, but we're back and we're better than ever. Here's your competition highlights for the entire weekend. On day one of the competition, we had the Men's and Women's Disabilities Masters open up the championships. Also in action, we had the Women's Espoir and Men's Under 16s in action too. Let's have a look and see how they got on. Over to our commentator, Olivia Smith. Now on B, we have Amelia House from Wickers Gymnastics Club, the Women's Disability Masters, showing some nice choreography to start the routine off, to settle her nerves before the first skill, the cat leap, straight into the TikTok, and she's going to link that well into the flick to one, very nice and confident, you can see there. A little bit nearly on the side dance, but she recomposes herself. Moves into the full spin again, nice and solid. Into the leap series, split jump, stretch jump, another strong landing. Just to focus now to get through to the end of the routine. A really strong, powerful round off tuck back dismount, and a lovely routine for Amelia. Now on the bars with Ellie Lewis from Wales. Starting off with a Jaeger, a little bit close to the bar but nice and high. Moving to the shoot down to the bottom bar, straight into the toe on, straight into the stolder, straight into the mo. Lots of connected skills pushing through towards the end of the routine. Into the giant full turn, the requirement, straight into a double tuck dismount and a great landing. She'll be pleased with that with her coach, Liv Brill. On day two of the championships, we had the junior women battling it out for the all-round titles. Also in action were the under-14 men competing for the all-round and apparatus titles. Let's see how they got on.
Selena on the rings. Benjamin Porter from Woking. Right, the rings requires a huge amount of strength, some swinging element, some control. Swing straight up, like Eva. Through into the double somersault forwards, trying to regain composure, making sure to keep those things as still as possible. And the control elements up to the handstand. Keeping them nice and still into the double tuck dismount and a solid landing as well from Benjamin. On day three of the championships, we had the senior and under 18 gymnasts taken to the floor, all competing for the title of British champion. Let's see how it all unfolded. Moving to the floor, we can run over Jessica Gadarova from Aylesbury. Fresh from her Olympic bronze medal with the team, Team GB. Let's see what she can do today on the floor. All this fabulous choreography, beautifully confident and stylish. She's going to prepare herself for the first big tumble to the double twisting, double tuck. She's got so much power, she's almost laid out. I'm sure she will do that one day. Back into the fabulous choreography. Now we need to switch the full turn, preparing for the second tumble. Double straight, and look at that landing. Super sky high. Take a little moonwalk in the dance, really showing off her routine in front of the judges after some fabulous tumbling. They change their ring. So high in those leaps. She's really working and building the difficulty throughout this routine. Just paddle jump full turn again. No doubt she was sky high in the air. Into the full twist walk out into the double tuck and just about holds it onto her feet. But what fabulous tumbling! An incredible routine there by Jessica. What a performance!
Dutch Oak Fraser now on the P-Bars, the City of Birmingham Gymnastics Club. Now we can expect to see some difficult work here. Joe, a world champion on this piece of apparatus. Swing straight to one bar, look at that control. Straight in the heely to handstand. Moving through the routine well. Strength in the shoulders manages to fix the handstands. A little bit of movement there, but he still keeps it moving. Somersault, really good work from Joe. Getting into the rhythm of the routine now. Building up to the dismount. Front somersault with the half turn. And he punches the air on landing. Great routine. So much fantastic gymnastics on display. Here are today's all-round British champion. Uh, Jessica Gadarova, British champion. Can you sum up uh, today and how you're feeling? Um, just over the moon and just so just, there's no words to just describe it, but, but I'm very happy. Um, coming into this competition, you hadn't really competed in front of a crowd because obviously Tokyo, there wasn't a crowd. How did that feel when you first walked on and the crowd went crazy for you and all the other girls? Well, from last time when I was here and seeing all the other seniors competing, I tried to guess what it could be, but it just blew me away. Just everyone cheering my name and just, I love the support. Talk about the competition, talk about your routines. How, did, how do you feel it went? I did a clean competition, which I'm very happy with. And yeah, I just thought each piece as it goes along and not thinking ahead and thinking one skill at a time and then Competition's over. Like you say, you're, you're obviously a big name in gymnastics now, like your world has changed this last year. Um, how proud are you that you sort of managed to handle the pressure out there as well? Yeah, um, not being able to do British through COVID and stuff. This is my first British. So coming out here, doing a British with my name being changed with all the successes I've achieved. And it was a very good experience, I would say. And obviously, what a day for Aylesbury. Talk about um, your sister and Ondine and how special it was to have all three of you stood on that podium. Yeah, um, my teammates are the best, Jess, Jen and Ondine. Um, we fully support each other no matter what and it was just nice to compete as a team and just all together and it was just a nice competition to be with all of each other. And then there's going to be some finals tomorrow, of course, and then there's a big year ahead. How much are you looking forward to the future and what's in store? Well, I'm excited for the World Championships in Liverpool. So we'll be back here in you know, October, November. So that'll be exciting, but it's good to have a nice practice and just feel the floor and being in the arena again. Joe Fraser, British champion once again. How does it feel? It's great to get back out there in front of that Liverpool crowd, you know. To walk away with the title, I'm very proud of myself and my, my team. We've worked very hard. We've been putting in lots of hours, so. You know, to deliver six routines, I'm just proud of myself and everyone. You're up against some serious competition out there, aren't you? How, uh, how does it feel going around? How competitive is it with all the other guys? Oh, it's amazing to get out there with the guys. You know, me and uh, Gianni, who was my teammate in Tokyo, were talking before the comp and saying how it felt like a bigger competition than the Olympics, just because of how big that crowd was and how much they were getting behind people. So. We loved being out there and we, we pushed each other to the limit. So to walk away with the title, I'm just proud of myself. Um, routine wise, talk us through today. What was, what was the highlights? Um, for me, I think P-bar and high bar. Um, I had shoulder surgery in August last year. So I've been managing that. Um, and to deliver a 15-3 on P-bar was really great. And high bar, I delivered a new connection, which I've been trying to perfect. So. Yeah, it's moving forwards positively, so I'm excited for the, the future of the cycle.
And as you say, you've been rehabbing. Um, we know that's always hard work, but is it worth it when you get results like this? Oh, definitely. You know, when, when you're having those tough days, you have to remember why you're doing it. It's, it's never easy. You know, that's the sport we, we're in. And as long as you remember that, then you'll be OK. Um, and this sets you up for a massive year ahead. Like, how, how much are you looking forward to what this year can bring? Yeah, it, to be honest, it just fills me with joy knowing what, what, can, what can be achieved in this year. So I'm just taking it day by day. You know, one day of the British done. Let's look forward to tomorrow. Last day here at the MS Bank Arena saw our junior and senior women competing for those apparatus titles. Also in action were the under 18 and senior men competing for the apparatus titles as well. Let's see who came out on top. So on bars now, Alice Kinsella from Park Reekin Gymnastics Club. Coach Christine still ready to whip that board away as soon as she gets up onto these bars. Alice has really improved on her bars. Straight into the Jaeger. Nice and cleanly done. Nice lines. Pack Salto to the bottom bar. Moving up to Sharp, straight into the Ginger, well caught, moving into the toe on, full turn the requirement, straight into the dismount, uh, a little bit close to the bar but a great landing, Alice will be really thrilled with that routine. So Jennifer Kadarova mates the beam for Aylesbury. Beautiful switch leap half into the Corbett flick. You can see there, look at the sharpness of the dance. She's ready for action, extremely confident. Moving through the routine. Shows the requirement of the full spin. Straight into the free walkover, split jump, straddle jump. Gymnasts need to build difficulty as they move throughout the routine. Moving to the split jump, half turn, great control. That can be a really tricky move for gymnasts. And she's going to go again with the straddle jump. Again, well held on the beam. Jennifer has always been a fabulous worker on the beam. Very confident gymnast. Moving into the acrobatic series, flick layout, layouts, and a beautiful landing. She really has worked confidently so far throughout this routine. 
the cartwheel, a little bit of a balance check, but again, another difficult skill added in. Preparing herself now for the dismount, sort of keep her composure right to the very end. Just into the roundup, double pike dismount, super high, brilliant landing. <laughs> you can see she's thrilled with that routine, and rightly so. So I believe just about to come into our picture, there he is, Gianni Regini Moran, competing here at Pegasus. And about to go through his parallel bars routine. Gianni has built his routine up well over the last few years on parallel bars. He's always been known for his fantastic floor and vaulting work. But he is a fabulous gymnast. You can see great control first by the routine, just has to hold the handstand on the side. Moving well to the somersault, cleanly through. Just fixing now, just got to keep his control as he moves through the routine. Some difficult work, but he's keeping it clean so far into the Healy. Back up to handstands, to build towards the dismount, the double pike, and just to pop back on landing. Lovely routine, that's going to be a big score from Gianni. Joe Fraser now from the city of Birmingham. It's Coach Lee again helping him up onto the high bar. You can expect a big routine here from Joe. Let's see how he goes. Some big release and catch elements. Let's start swinging through. Great work. Straight into the Goldman. Winding up again. Into the casino. Some big, big skills. Into a beautifully high catch, Ev. Swinging through now, Let's show those big skills. Oh, the giant on one arm. What incredible strength, but how easy does he make it look? Just go through all of the turns and all of the requirements, as well as those big release and catch elements into the stolder, winding up now into the dismount. Double twisting, double straight. Oh, and look at that landing. What an incredible four days of action. We saw seven all-round champions crown and 46 apparatus titles won. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all in 2023.